So let's do a little update of what the NFC and NFL Cham- NFC Championship games were like yesterday. So the Rams beat the Saints 26-23 in overtime. Good win for them. Sean McVay, young coach. I think he deserves a Zerbo ring. I think he deserves it. He's a smart head coach. He knows what he's doing. He's young, and I think he's going to follow the same path as Bill Belichick. I just don't know if his time is right now to beat the Patriots in Super Bowl. And talking about them, they beat the Chiefs 37-31 in overtime. And the same as every year, the Patriots are always in the Super Bowl and playoffs. Well, never fails the playoffs, but they're always in the AFC Championship game. Like, how many teams... I'm going to ask this to NFL teams out there. How have you not studied the film? You've had, what, countless... Millions of tapes of the Patriots on film, and you still cannot figure out how to beat them. What is... I don't understand what you're doing wrong. It's not that hard. Game plan them. Maybe ask former coaches and staff members of the Patriots that used to be on their squad. Ask them how do they get... Are they so good? And maybe that... Maybe then you'll start beating them. It doesn't make sense. And the refs are complete horrible. Or just trash. I mean, we need full referee, full time referees. Bill Vinovich needs to get fired. They missed a blade in either pass interference or helmet to helmet contact on Nicole Roby on Tommy Lee Lewis. That was bad. Now, that would have changed the game. That would have guaranteed the Saints winning the British Super Bowl, not the Rams. And even the referees admitted when Sean Payton called that they messed it up. They messed it up pretty bad. Yeah, you know what? It's a little too late for that. I think it's time for you guys, to, the NFL, to reevaluate you and f- see who, who goes and who stays. Even the call, the college NCAA football referees are better than these guys. They're like the replacements in 2012. These guys are a joke. It's embarrassing if you're an NFL fan. Watching some teams getting called for a lot of penalties that they don't commit sometimes, and the Patriots getting away with so many fouls that you're like, really? How in the world are you giving them so many chances? I don't know what is wrong with the. I don't know how the Patriots are so good, though. It just doesn't make sense. Patrick Mahomes is a respected kid, and I think he deserved a Super Bowl, not the Patriots. Because Patriots are. They like to cheat, they're disrespectful, they like to get. They called for holding penalties all the time, and they're too good. That's why everyone hates them. They're going to be, if they win another Super Bowl, the great, I mean, already right now, they're the greatest franchise right now in history in the NFL in the last 20 years. No one has come close to what they've done. They are incredible. And... You know, Todd Gurley and this Rams team, if they want to beat the Patriots, it's going to be offense. It's going to be taking control of that run game, not really bursting that many fast 10-yard runs. I'm talking about maybe three, four-yard runs that actually get first downs. Using the play clock, using taking as, taking as much time as possible on a scoring drive, or holding the ball on a lot of time for at least five minutes, maybe or even more, that would guarantee Tom Brady doesn't get a lot of time in the field. But if you're the Rams, late in the game, score, don't give him any time. I'm talking about run that clock out to the very last second. Give him like three seconds. No, give no, give him one second, because then give him like two seconds, because then the play, then the game will be over once the kickoff return ends. So. And this Rams defense. I'm just worried that Donald will not get any pressure on him. Sue and Donald will be the game-changing factors in that game. They can change that game in an instant. If Donald gets three to four sacks on Brady, that may just be the end of the Patriots out there. I mean, the Patriots, even if Tom Brady wins another Super Bowl, I doubt he's retiring. He's got another two years at least. If he says he retires, I'll be shocked. Because then... The Patriots are so good at... Let's face it. The, the, the horrible truth nobody wants to face. Patriots are still going to win this division for years to come. Who knows how long. The reason I say this is nobody else in the AFC East has a chance. They've been poorly rounded and poorly produced over the years. The Bills have not made the playoffs until 2017 last year. Complete have horrible coaches, except I think McDermott's doing the right thing, but they have a horrible offensive line. 
Defense can't do anything, even though this year it's been very good. I appreciate that. <clears throat> but the offense has always liked that lack talent over the years. So maybe except for Fred Jackson. But quarterback situation has been horrendous. Coaching has been beyond pathetic. It's been like a... I don't know what it has been like, but it's just been so horrible. Miami, it's been disaster. They've had issues with quarterback, head coaches, receivers, tight ends, offensive line, defense. Not really defensive line with Cameron Wake. Linebacking core, the secondary is getting a little better. Xavier Howard had seven picks this year, I think. And Rashad Jones is still a pro ball player. And special teams has also been an issue. Yeah, it's been an issue for a long time. And for the Jets, we've had Sanchez, the butt fumble, Rex Ryan, of course, as a head coach. They haven't fared well. Problems with head coaches, locker room issues, running backs, offense, offensive line, defense, secondary, linebacking core, special teams, special teams coaching. Everything's gone wrong for the Jets. What hasn't? That's why this Patriots team is guaranteed to win this division soon. If there's any chance of a team that could potentially outsmart them in the division, it's going to be Buffalo. Trust me. Buffalo is gonna have a made it's gonna have like a Christmas wish list. Even though Christmas is over, that's how long it's gonna be. It's gonna be like at least the the size of Eiffel Tower. That's how big it's gonna be for the Bills to fill all the needs in the offseason. Offensive line, quarterback, well, running backs, tight end, receiver. The list goes on. It's gonna be so much. And for the Dolphins and Jets, it's nearly the same thing. But it's more focused on the defense or both the Jets and Dolphins. But, you know, I don't think the NFL is going to allow the Saints to just get a Super Bowl where the Atlanta Falcons played. Because, like, they're like, nah, 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 nah. somebody's got to say no to this. I'm really hoping the Rams win. I'm, I just can't see a Patriot. I just don't want to see another Patriots Super Bowl win. It it's going to be hard for me to really watch football again if this Patriots team wins again. It's going to be hard for me to watch in the AFC. In the NFC, you don't know what's going to happen every year because a new team's going to be in it, but when will the Patriots not make the Super Bowl or the AFC Championship game? Maybe next year. Maybe Mahomes will get his act. Maybe Mahomes will really put on a show. He put on a show this year, but I'm talking about a masterpiece. He'll paint a masterpiece and boost the Chiefs over the Patriots so everyone can stop talking about so every Patriots fan will be quiet and will be stunned of what happens because guaranteed somebody in the next in the next three four years is going to knock New England on the playoffs it's going to happen just watch it but man this Patriots team is too good if that Rams defense can't get pressure on Brady Patriots are going to dominate and I think the Rams, after losing to the Patriots in that previous Super Bowl, 2002, Brady's first Super Bowl, I think they learned their lesson. I think they're going to be much better prepared for this one, and I think they can win this. Gurley, Goff, Rams offense, defense takes over. It's going to be hard for the Patriots to come back and win this game. But I, my Super Bowl pick, the Rams, because I just can't take any more Patriots Super Bowls. It's driving me insane. See ya.